I'm Brian Ellis. Welcome to the first episode of our three-part series discussing our all-new standalone engine management, Core ECU. This series will walk you through the unit itself and its new software, VCM Live, so you can feel confident about setting everything up for the first time. Today, we'll cover the ECU, harnesses, and explore the features of our new Core ECU platform. Let's get started. For the past 20 years, HP Tuners has built a reputation as the industry standard in automotive tuning. From humble beginnings in a garage, tuning an F-body, to a global brand supporting thousands of applications, including cars, SUVs, diesel trucks, and even power sport vehicles. Our mission has remained the same. Put the power of control into your hands, and that's exactly what we've done with this core ECU and VCM Live. OE ECMs can be limited. That's why we set out to design, prototype, and manufacture a custom ECU all in-house. Core ECU gives you the control to command the engine, whether it's in your resto mod or race car, in a dependable and easy to use package. You'll no longer be locked down by the factory computer. With the Core ECU, you can make real-time changes, data log, add sensors, inputs, outputs, and more, all for one program, VCM Live, our new software package. So, we ask you to tune in to the next episode where we uncover all of the new features within VCM Live. At launch, we'll be covering all Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS engines, but this is only the beginning for Core, and we'll be supporting more applications soon. We have harness options for both applications, and we'll be taking a closer look at the unique features of these harnesses in a bit. If you have special requests for future engines to support, be sure to drop a comment after you finish this video. Let's talk about some of the features of the Core ECU. It utilizes AMP connectors, which have become the industry standard for standalone ECUs. They're a tough connector that are easy to install and easy to disassemble when users need to add, remove, or repair any pins. It includes support for dual widebands, so no need to buy extra modules. Simply grab a standard LSU 4.9 sensor from the auto parts store, and you're ready to go. You have all the different strategies that we've built into the ECU. For example, we can control up to 16 injectors. Secondary injectors balance performance and drivability, solving the limitations of larger injectors at idle. Core ECU has two open CAN bus networks and one HP TNET CAN bus network, meaning with future updates, you'll be able to add almost any CAN device to our network. Whether it's additional inputs, outputs, or data logging devices, the customization possibilities are endless. Finally, the ECU is packed full of I.O., meaning you won't struggle to find a spot for your EGTs, sensors, and more. At launch, we'll support the 4L60 and 4L80 automatic transmissions. To make things simple, we've designed a single harness that works with both applications. A simple calibration change inside VCM Live allows you to switch from one to the other. We'll show you how to do that in a later episode. Let's see what you'll be receiving when you order your new core ECU from HP Tuners. First up, you'll find a card with a QR code. This will bring you to all the relevant website links and documentation for installing and using the Core ECU. Here's a quick start guide, as well as a guide for VCM Live, and we encourage both new and experienced users to explore them. Next, the Core ECU itself. We spent a lot of time designing a housing that is IP rated. It's durable, oil and water resistant, and easy to mount. Users can mount it inside the cabin, near the factory ECM location, or make it the centerpiece of your engine bay. The choice is yours. The core ECU was fully designed in-house from the ground up, taking what we've learned not only from OEM ECUs, but also from what we've seen in the market and our tuning experience. This gives us a level of flexibility and allows us to adapt quickly, improve our processes, and implement new features. Everything from the software, firmware, strategy, every single aspect is done here at HP Tuners. For this product launch, we'll support the 24X and 58X GM LS applications, referring to the trigger pattern of the Gen 3 and Gen 4 engines. We support the entire life cycle of the GM LS engine and offer two main harness options. We'll soon roll out more engine harnesses to cover other platforms, so be sure to subscribe to get notified when those are released. For experienced customers, our professional shops wanting something custom, we offer a flying lead harness. This comes with connectors and wires, giving you full control over how you run your engine sensors, fuel injectors, and other parts of your harness. We recommend this option only for experienced users comfortable with handling a custom wiring project. We also have a new expansion harness 
for customers wanting to add additional I.O. to their system, such as extra sensors and flex fuel. This will integrate into the main harness and provide easily accessible power, ground, and signal wires for adding to your system. Here we have a Gen 4 harness as an example of a terminated harness. Looking at the harness, you'll notice two CAN bus connectors. These are for CAN 1 and CAN 2 and can be used with standard Deutsch connectors. There's a grommet for running it into the cabin or it can be removed if not needed. We have our fuse box with the fuel pump, ignition relay, and all our fuses, including an inline resistor for the charging circuit, easy to replace if needed. We also include loose wires for fan control, brake switch, ignition power, and other accessories. The ethernet connection will be used for communication between your computer and the ECU. This can mount inside the car or in the engine bay. We also have our HPTNet connection, which will be used for upcoming HPTNet products, so stay tuned for those. Now let's stretch out this harness to see how it routes on an engine. There are two branches for each side of the engine. The right side has the B plus or battery positive connections for the starter and battery positive. Now let's lay it across the engine and see how it looks on this LS. We're gonna take the right side with the battery positives and lay it here. You can see this big Whipple supercharger there looking beautiful. Take the left side. Next, you'll see the expansion IO input, which is that additional harness we mentioned earlier, as well as the barometric pressure input option. Next, we'll run the wires for drive-by wire, ignition, and our fuel injectors. Now would be a good time to mention that our harnesses are pre-terminated for EV6 injectors, which cover the majority of LS and aftermarket injectors. However, if you are running an EV1 injector, we offer a straight through plug adapter. Now let's stretch out the harness for our knock sensors. This may be in a different location depending on your application. The crank sensor, and finally the starter. For this Gen 4 application, the camshaft sensor is located at the front of the engine. We also designed this harness to route around the exhaust to keep crucial wires like the knock sensor away from heat. Just like the core ECU, we have designed all of our harnesses in-house for better wire management and protection. We believe that focusing on these fine details will provide you with a more durable, more reliable product and let you enjoy your project for years to come. That's it for the first episode of our deep dive into all things core engine management. Be sure to tune in to episode two, where we look at the all new VCM Live software. Thanks for watching and make sure you like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the official HP Tutors channel. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified as soon as we post the next episode. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.